The people of Al Sueda city in southern Syria continue to live a normal life despite terrorist threats. Determined to defend their city, the residents here are voluntarily joining the fight against Nusra Front terrorists who have launched a ferocious offensive on the city and its countryside. We are standing in one of the bases of the Syrian army inside the city of Al Sueda. Hundreds of people are pouring in to join the Syrian army in the fight against the foreign-backed militants. This square in a Syrian Army Special Forces Division in the city has been receiving an increasing number of volunteers who come in a show of responsibility and nationalism. We have come to defend Al Sueda and God willing we will be victorious. The homeland needs us. This land is ours and we will defend it. Some of the volunteers were not civilians. In fact, they were army soldiers who left duty for different reasons, like having their families threatened by militants. But now they have decided to return and fight for their city. I came here to perform my service and national duty in defense of my city, Al Sueda, and all of my country, Syria. I'm an army soldier. I used to fight in Aleppo, but I was kidnapped and things got complicated. When my city got attacked, I decided to return back to duty. No one asked those people to come. The noble deed by the leader of Syria has been adopted by every honorable person in Sweden. The amnesty for the army personnel who left duty was announced on speakers. Since then, soldiers have been pouring in. The high morale and enthusiasm was evident as volunteers, before leaving to the battlefield, chanted slogans and sang national songs expressing loyalty to their homeland. With more volunteers coming in, the increasing number of personnel who will stand alongside the Syrian army is definitely believed to be a game-changer in the balance of power in the fight for Al-Sueda. Hamad Ali, Press TV, Al-Sueda.